family hello my loves hi guys hope you're all doing amazing you're having a lovely 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 day your week has started fine guys it's on our monday yes guys and i'm here guys to show you another recipe or rather show you another cooking hack that you maybe you should know when cooking spaghetti or pasta guys so guys i feel like you're going to nickname me because of this bucket hat guys please do not do not come judging me guys i know my hair looks like a mess we're going to fix it when the right time comes guys so guys let me show you guys how to cook spaghetti few things you should know when cooking spaghetti where you go wrong when cooking your spaghetti and how to give your spaghetti more flavor oh upon my right so let's get into the ingredients guys so guys i always use this brand this dawat i feel like but anyway for spaghetti any spaghetti can work ikuata ni gandhi butterfly name it it's going to work for you guys so she does see brand the spaghetti she doesn't know when you want pick spaghetti so we have our spaghetti here i'm using this one the 500 grams right 400 sorry 500 you're going to need some salt this is why i put in i put my salt and you're going to need some margarine if you don't have blue band if you don't have cooking oil okay if you have the um, yes cooking oil a uh, blue band ama oil cooking oil it's still going to serve you and you're going to need a big pot here's the secret guys when you're cooking your pasta make sure your spaghetti i mean spaghetti make sure you have a big pot mine it's not bigger in terms of the depth in it but it's going to serve because i'm not going to cook a lot of spaghetti guys so ukitaka spaghetti yako isishikane make sure you're using a a big pot a masufuria to give the spaghetti space to cook so you're going to need a big pot and you're going to need to crush mine i like to crush because i have a baby but if you like yours long don't cut make sure you use a big pot that's hack number one when you want your spaghettis to be to look nice nice shikane so guys you need a big pot and then i'm going to show you guys the next step so guys here is the deal when you're cooking your past don't keep on stirring it time it's like you're cooking rice you get you add in water and then this is when you are going to add in your salt and then stack it dogo you at least delay any coach isha fika chini isishike kwa sifuria you get it guys now we are going to let this cook for around 10 7 to 10, 7 to 10 minutes and then we're going to come and check on it meanwhile let's be cooking the stew for the spaghetti guys <laughs>
So guys, it has, it's about 8 minutes or so and our spaghetti is ready. <coughs> so guys, the next step is you are going to drain this water, the cooking water and rinse it off with cold water to stop the cooking. You get that one? So let's do that. So guys, I've drained on, off the water. You can see guys, I've not even added in the cold water and they're already looking nice. So I want to add in the cold water to stop them from cooking. I'm going to do this for about 25 minutes or so. And then you just do like that. See? It looks nice. So let's give it 5 minutes. And then guys, I'm going to show you the next time. guys just so now we are about to level them up because we don't want to eat them when they are this plant so what I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to heat up the the pot that i was using add a little bit of oil and some butter to help the butter not to burn and then add in my spaghettis and then toast them for them to be at least with that flavor for the margarine And just like that guys you're going to have your spaghetti looking nice as this one see guys it looks here at the end of the presentation see guys mojo mojo perfect guys so i'm going to plate this up guys and show you the stew Oh, oh, oh.
Thank you. 